Hi, this is Hank Hanegraaff, president of the Christian Research Institute and host of the Bible Instrument broadcast with another Hank Unplugged Short. I'm sitting in my office reading an opinion piece in USA Today written by Stephen Petro. Uh, the article is titled, Stop Gloating When Anti-Vaxxers Die of COVID-19. It's tragic. And I would echo that remark. The piece centers on a man named Marcus Lamb, the head of a Christian network known as Daystar, which, according to Stephen Petro, has somewhere around 2 billion followers. Whether that's an exaggeration or not, I do not know, but the one thing that we can say with certainty is that Marcus Lamb had a very significant reach. He reached a lot of people, and sadly, he reached them with a prosperity gospel, something that I wrote about in my first book, Christianity in Crisis. At any rate, one of the things I found uh, uh, heartening was that we are not to, to practice the uncivilized, unchristian uh, ethic of, of dancing on someone's grave. So I commend the article in that regard. Unfortunately, he talks about ineffective means of combating COVID-19. And one of those ineffective means that he cites is prayer. And I would just say in this Hank Unplug short that prayer is the most effective, the most effective thing that we can do as Christians. Because there's no doubt whatsoever that God exists the heavens declare the glory of God. There's, there's no doubt whatsoever that Christ came in incarnation. I won't go through the arguments for that. I've done that in many other forums, including my books. But if there is a God and there most certainly is, that God is not just distant. That God is nearby. You know, Jeremiah said about God, am I only a God nearby, declares the Lord, and not a God far away? God is not just an idol. God is the one who spoke and the universe leapt into existence and the one who knit us together in our mother's womb. And when we pray to him, God responds in kind. He, he is one who, who answers prayer. And thus prayer ought not to be besmirched, but prayer ought to be engaged. Outside the truth kept by the whole church, personal experience, said Vladimir Lossky, would be deprived of all certainty, of all objectivity. It would be a mingling of truth and falsehood, of reality and of illusion. So truth can never be minimized. It is important. But the life that matters more, a life that includes engaging the lover of our souls in prayer, is a life that has an antidote to the pain and suffering that human beings experience, including the pain of 
of losing a loved one to the COVID-19 virus. Thanks for tuning in.